Hello and welcome back to Bournemouth RC. Now tonight's going to be a little bit of an instructional video again, a little bit of a tutorial video. Um, and this is how to strengthen your battery tray um, in any of the Armour 6S series to stop it pulling out when you do some big jumps. Um, there is only a few th very small screws going into plastic at the bottom there. Um, and I actually managed to rip one out on my Outcast. Um, so this is just going to be a little bit of a video of how to stop that from happening. Um, what you need to do is you need to get some of these captive nuts. I'll show you on the camera. They are M3 T-nuts. Um, they've got some little prongs on the back. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you will need some slightly longer bolts. Um, I've got some 12mm ones here, but actually 10mm will be perfect if you can get 10mm. Um, I'm going to get some next on my order, and I will again put a link in the description to them. Um, I've got some 12 and that will do for the time being. Um, and you also will need, ideally, a little bit of a yoga mat or something. I've got a yoga mat on order, so I can cut it up. But at the moment, I'm just going to use a little bit of a cardboard um, base. And I'll show you what that's for in a minute. Also, you'll need some sort of heat source. A lighter will do. Um, anything will do. But just some sort of little heat source. A pair of pliers or a pair of grips. Um, and a drill with about a 4mm drill bit in. Um, so what I'm going to do then is get in nice and close and show you how to do this. Okay, first of all, we need to take out the two centre screws for the battery tray. So, they're the ones taken out. Let's wait for the camera to focus. And that's the length of the ones we're putting in. So about enough of sort of 4mm bigger, but again, if you can get 10mm ones, they'd work perfectly. Okay, pop out the top of the battery tray. So, now what you're going to do with your drill, the two holes in the centre there, one there, and one there, I have already actually drilled that one, um, it's you're just going to take away some of the plastic, but you're not going to go down as far as the chassis. That's it, that's perfect. Now what you're going to do is with these captive nuts, get a spare bolt you've got lying about. Wind it on a little bit and clamp it with a pair of pliers or a little pair of mild grips like this. Then you're just going to heat the end of that up. Not red hot. You just want it to be quite warm. What you're then going to do is you're then going to stab that into the plastic and let the heat melt that into the plastic. Let it cool for a second and then just unwind your screw out of the captive nut. If you go too hot you're going to go for too far into the plastic so just a little bit of heat and that's it. Get the second one. Heat up a little. And then just melt that into that plastic there. Let it cool for a second. Then just take that nut out. So now you can see both of them are in there. They're both sat down into the plastic. Now these screws are going through metal. So make sure you put a little bit of Loctite on them.
Okay, so as you can see, they're now in there, nice and tight. Um, those screws poke through about a millimetre, so they're not too bad, but they're all right. But that's where, because you've now put these in here, um, and your battery tray's not dead flat, don't run a soft pack or any really lipo on that. Use your little bit of yoga mat, or in this case, a bit of cardboard, but I have got some yoga mat coming. Lay them across the top, and that'll just protect your lipo from any damage caused by them. Okay, so that's it from Bournemouth RC tonight. Uh, real nice, simple little video. Um, those tea nuts and the bolts are uh, pennies really each when you when you buy them. Um, I bought 30 odd of them um, just so I've got them lying about. Um, so really, really simple little strengthening device. Stop that battery tray being ripped out on any big jumps. Um, it's something you see quite a lot, the battery tray coming out. Um, I did it on my Outcast, so um, it's well worth doing. For those two simple bolts going through there, um, we'll stop that from happening. So that's it from Bournemouth RC tonight. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the videos if you like them. Uh, thank you very much. Good night.